Welcome back to JDM Legends presented by Turn 14 Distribution. Today is a very, very exciting day. This car is getting all of the exterior mods done. Then we're gonna take it off the hoist and show you what it looks like. And there you go, Nismo S-Tune bumper is installed and huge shout out to Zeeshin over at Z's Garage in Alberta. Uh, he sold me this Nismo bumper um, and if you guys watched a previous episode, you saw me tease it when I put it on the car. However, the paint match was just a little bit lighter despite him having the same color car. It was just off enough, so I took it over to Richie and he gave it a paint job and uh, matched it perfectly. Like, man, Richie, thank you so much. The other thing that you guys may have noticed is I did put this GTR emblem on, brand new one, and uh, this mesh is not meant for this emblem. So there was a bit of like tweaking, trying to get a line up. It is a little flimsy on here. I don't love it, but that's the only way to get this emblem on here. Usually you'd run without it. However, I did want to put that on there. Uh, everything else, man, like this being a fiberglass reinforced plastic FRP bumper, I, I was a little bit worried on the fitment, but oh, it fit up so well. It's nice and reassuring to think that you can go out and buy a fiberglass bumper and have it fit up. Although these are not cheap. It's crazy what you pay for some of these. are not a speck of rust on these up here the lower ones not so much but those guys man it's like mint
That I think is the definition of a multi-piece bumper. <laughs> As you guys just saw, that, that, I think that took me like almost two hours to put together, but wow, was the time and effort worth it? 100% yes, it looks incredible. I just pulled the stands out here to put this car down to show you guys what it looks like because I want to add the side skirts and I just wanted to admire it at the stance that it is. It is going to settle a bit, but as a, as a car without the side skirts, the Nismo ones, um, I, I, this kind of reminds me of like the Mines GTR where they ran it without anything. It was like a super clean car. Oh, this is going to be a tricky one because I do love this look right now. It's certainly just like so, so clean, simple, pure. But um, let's bust out the side skirts and just like hold them up or bolt them up real quick and then we can kind of like look at it again. These are authentic Nismo side skirts and the crazy thing is these are made out of ABS plastic. The front bumper is made out of FRP and the rear spats are made out of FRP. I don't even know why they don't make the rear spats in, in this ABS plastic. I, I bet you they would fit much better, but you can see these are gonna bolt up like this. Um, I do need to do a bit of drilling if I wanna mount these properly. However, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the brackets on. They come with these neat, clever brackets so we can just like bolt this up and just kinda let it hang and let's see what it looks like. Well, what do you guys think? I don't know, I do like it. Man, this is like such a tough decision. It makes it look so, so different. It certainly matches the front lip. Like this lip here matches up so nicely with that. So you don't have that overhang like you did before. I do like it better from the rear. I just find from the front, it looks so clean without it. Um, anyways, like I said, I think, oh, I can't put this on the ground because I do need to put the diffuser on. So let's get that diffuser on here and then we can put this thing on the ground. Ooh, just clear. By the way, if some of you are wondering where Dave is in this episode and why I've been doing this all myself, it is March spring break, which means the kids are off and uh, Dave's at home doing parent things. So that means I'm gonna have to do this all by myself. Which uh, I'm sure I'll be able to take care of this here. Okay, well, I did think of this actually. That's why I didn't put those on permanently. Yeah, just use some washers. The fuser is in place and, and it looks like this little rear spat is super close. You can see it's just off enough that I'm not going to accept that, especially up here. And it is hitting the diffuser right here. Um, what I did notice though is this diffuser is moved all the way to the front. So if I can move this back, that should give me the clearance right here. The only small little issue might be is I had to add these spacers here for the Tomei exhaust. So it, as you can see, it like barely clears through here, um, but it does. So maybe those spacers are causing me a bit of an issue. I do doubt it though. Anyways, I'm just gonna uh, look at this a little bit more and I'm sure I can figure something out here. With a bit of tweaking, I 
did manage to move this thing to somewhat of an acceptable spot. You can see it's still touching right here, unfortunately, but you know, that's just how it goes sometimes. Real quick update here. I just tweaked the exhaust system and managed to raise it up to what is a proper height. As you can see now, there is no issue with this rubbing. So without further ado, let's get this car on the ground. I knew this was gonna happen. I am literally 50-50 on whether I should run the side skirts or not. This just, uh, this just looks awesome. It, like I said, it just looks like pure and clean. Very 90s in my opinion, more so than the other side. I just, I can't really decide. This side, I think, my, my struggle with it, first of all, is that side looks like it's higher, so it is. it has like an extra finger of gap, which is throwing everything off, and that's because the floor isn't even here, which is kind of pissing me off, but uh, what, what can you do? So it kind of like gives the, the rear a tad bit too high of a look. Um, and the other thing is the wheels on this side just look much smaller, like you really need a set of 19s to run this setup. Uh, I, I can't believe I'm saying that, they also feel like they're sunken in too much on this side. So just post in the comments, guys, if you were gonna run the car as is right now, would you run it with the, the Nismo side skirts and rear spats, or would you leave it uh, clean? I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bolt on a set of spacers. Not that I'm gonna run them, but I just wanna see what these would look like with a little bit more offset and if they're kind of gonna fill out the car a bit. Come on, five by 100. ST suspension, wheel spacers also don't fit. All right, I got a ton of these. Let's see which one of these is gonna fit. I don't think these ones are five by 114. Nope. These, come on, five by 114. Damn. Oh my God, just too tight. A hair too tight, these would have been perfect. All right, we on. It was really bugging me that this side was a little bit too high, so I've stuffed a bunch of batteries in oil there, and it has lowered 
this side a tad. And honestly, man, just that five mil spacer looks like it's really, really improved the look for me. It still is a little bit high in the rear, but man, it does look good. It looks, I think, more proper. Um, the front, from the front, I think it looks much, much better. If you're looking at it right now, you can kind of see it's just, it looks more proportionate. And I, I don't know if, again, it's just my eye or putting a five mil spacer on it has done the job and that's it. That's all it would take, but it does look better. You can kind of see on this side how much more sunken in the wheels are. But, you know, I could also put a five mil on this side, so I don't know. Now it's made it even worse because I was starting to lean towards running it clean without the side skirts, but now I kind of like the way it looks here. Post in the comments, let me know what you think. I still, I don't know. I honestly don't know. One second I'm leaning towards the skirts. They just look so complete. But uh, part of me just wants to run a more period correct non side skirt car. So I don't know, post in the comments, let me know what you think. We will be back with another episode. We are waiting on the fuel pump. So once that fuel pump comes in, it was actually really, really hard to find. I ordered through uh, Dixie Nissan. It's been like, I think six or seven days now. Uh, it should be arriving hopefully tomorrow or the next day. So. Once we get that in, we can kind of start this car up and make sure everything is running and we don't have a blown JDM importer motor. You never know what happens. Um, and the other thing I really want to do is try on a different set of wheels as well. So maybe we'll do that in the next episode. All right, everybody, that is going to be it. So thank you once again for watching. We certainly appreciate the support with all the views, the likes, the comments, the subscribes. And of course, we do have our Patreon. Go check that out. We are getting ready to do our second podcast very, very soon. So if you have questions you want to ask us, join up and then you can post in our Discord or on Patreon what kind of you know random questions you want to ask us and we'll certainly answer them in the podcast. All right, guys, we will see you in the next one.